Hi Strangelings, it's been a very long time, at least it feels like it has been. My computer has been on and off wanting to work for me and not wanting to work for me. Uh, an example is the hex bomb video that I just did while I was trying it out. Half the time I just kind of kept going with it, but I was sitting there with my face kind of going like... Which I'm hoping this video doesn't start doing because I make a lot of derpy faces and if it just pauses on it, I'm really sorry. You're not really going to learn too much because I'm just going to be making a derpy face at you and you won't see anything that I want to show you. Um, I do like doing the fashion reviews for you guys, seeing as I'm not quite there yet with my makeup skills. I haven't really gotten anything new makeup related recently, uh, just because uh, my cat was very sick recently. I had to take him to the vet. It was not a fun experience. He is doing a lot better, but because of that I've been saving uh, just in case something else happened or in case his medicine didn't you know, fix him the way that I wanted him to be fixed, where he's 100% better, and therefore I have to take him back. So for now, um, this review is actually from a product I ordered a month ago, so the end of August, I believe, like August 23rd or so, and I got it in the mail about two, three days ago. Uh, so there's a warning for you right there if you're in the United States and you want to order from this website. Know that when they say it's going to take 5 to 25 business days, it's probably going to be like 20 to 25 business days uh, to get the product to you. The thing also that I thought was kind of ironic uh, about this package was that I had two of them in the mail, but I only bought uh, two items and I ended up getting four. So that was interesting. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about the other sets. I got three pairs of leggings and a dress. I don't really wear leggings unless it's very cold outside and I wear them underneath a pair of jeans. So I might maybe be doing a giveaway or some sort for these two pairs for those of you uh, who love Alice in Wonderland and you'll see why uh, at the end of this video. But my main thing I wanted to talk to you guys today was about LotusLeggings.com. I know you've probably seen a lot of different advertisements for it. Facebook, Instagram, probably even on YouTube maybe. Little advertisements that pop up in the corner. Especially because mermaid scale leggings are very popular, at least over the summer I know that they were. And I saw them all the time in the corner as an advertisement. I kept telling myself I'm never going to buy these, so I don't know why it keeps showing them to me. And as you can tell by the thumbnail in this video, I gave in. I didn't get the green ones, even though green is my absolute favorite color, if you can't tell from my shades. But I did get the black scale leggings. I have not yet tried these on, but they feel very stretchy. Uh, the sizing was pretty good on them from what I can tell. They're super shiny, really pretty. They can't, like, the different light angles on it just looks gorgeous. So I'm very excited to try these on. They're a decent length too. They're very stretchy. Uh, they're also very smooth feeling, which I'm excited about because a lot of my leggings, like I said, are, sorry, dropping stuff, are winter leggings. So they're mostly like a, a nice fur lining on the inside or um, like a faux fur just to be cooler where this isn't. It's like a spandex kind of shorts feeling. Um, but I got these. And the other item that I ordered that I was very excited about was a jack-o'-lantern themed pumpkin dress. I am ready for Halloween. It is my holiday. It is my Christmas. And this was just too cute to pass up on. It's a skater style pumpkin dress. So it has like the tank top front with like the A-line skirt along the bottom of it. The jack-o'-lanterns on it are very <laughs> adorable. I love the variety of different faces that they're making in it. Um, this is a very thin material, so I would recommend wearing something underneath it uh, for that fall winter time frame because if you can see this, it's not super thick. It's not going to keep you super warm. But I tried it on yesterday. I went, you know, one of my late night Walmart runs because the best time to go to Walmart is at, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning when nobody's there. Um, it stretches really nicely, which I was excited about because when I first held it up, I was like, there's no way that my chest is going to fit into this. Um... I might have ordered too small. The sizes do run small. I believe I got an extra large. Probably could have gotten away with a 2XL, uh, but it is a nice stretchy material. Oh, I'm stretching the sleeves for you. That doesn't make any sense. Um, the top of it, super stretchy. The whole thing is, it's nice and cool. It is like a crisp fall feeling to it when you wear it. Uh, like I said, it took about a month to get here, and I've only worn the dress the one time, and it was a little bit tight to squeeze on, but it was... Very cute to wear. It does match my new nails, which if you didn't know that I was obsessed with Halloween and all things pumpkin, you know, you, you, you know about it now. Um, I don't know what to say. I was at a loss for words for a second. Uh, they have a lot of different items on their website. They have a lot of the different leggings. They have a lot of skater style dresses. They have crop tops, like workout clothes. 
I didn't look too deep. They had like a thousand different kinds of leggings. And I, like I said, I don't normally wear them, so I wasn't really about it unless I needed to get something for a photo shoot. But I have been eyeing, I think it was like a dorkable something, a or dorkable tops maybe. Have um, a white crop top uh, seashell bra shirt that's black. And I figured the black leggings with that would actually make a very cute outfit. And with the whole body confidence thing that I'm working on and trying to start working out again, I think that that would be a look I could actually feel comfortable wearing. So I might be doing it for a different style shoot in the future. I'm not sure. I do have a lot planned coming up because it is Halloween. Uh, so there's a couple witch themed ones that were going on, maybe even a zombie one. Uh, the last one that I did was a bloodbath one. If you go on my Facebook page, you'll see a couple sneak peeks of two of the photos I've gotten back so far. I've seen more uh, sneak peeks from the edits that Constance has done. I'm not going to share those without her permission, of course, but they look amazing. This is literally my favorite shoot to date that I have ever, ever, ever done. I look forward to doing more of them. I really want to do a milk bath one next, but do maybe like a, a black milk bath or like a, use a black bath bomb because I have the hex bombs in black that I can use. I don't know if... I thought maybe one of them was in the drawer, but it might be in uh, the bathroom still. But it's Black as Your Soul. I think that one would look really awesome in the water to do a photo shoot of. But that one, like, actually in a bathtub. Because what we ended up doing was actually using a, like, small pool and filling it up with, like, six or seven different bath bombs and then a little bit of food coloring dye. It looked amazing. That red was so deep. The edits that she did on it are amazing. But she really didn't have to edit the water all that much. It really was that deep color of a red. It was gorgeous um tangent again this is supposed to be a quick review of lotus leggings for you guys uh main things to think about takes about a month to ship out their deals do work if you see like a buy one get one free buy three get free free they they do honor those things um i spent 25 dollars for both of these and like i said i got two additional pairs of leggings let me get those for you guys they're on my bed um I might, might wear these. I don't know yet. Um, they're the Alice in Wonderland, like a Tim Burton Cheshire Cat with the uh, Cheshire Cat face on the back side of it. They're really cute, but like I said, it's not really my style to wear. Um, and then the other ones are the traditional Cheshire Cat pink. I'm trying to get him on the side. He's right here on like the side pant leg. And he wraps around. They are cute. I just, I don't really wear pink. Um, I don't think I'd wear these for a shoot. I might wear them, like I said, if I start back into my running and working out. Because they do feel very lightweight. They feel like they breathe very well. Um, but I'm not sure how I feel about them. This this one just cracks me up with the eyes back there. I think that's so funny. But they all feel like they're a very stretchy material. Uh, they would probably make really good running pants. The tops of this are very different. Uh, the other one, the mermaid one, has kind of like a stretchy top to it, where this one seems like it's more like a form-fitted, kind of like uh, fitted kind of style. I'm not really sure what size these are either. I haven't looked at that. It does not say. They are polyester and elastic. Oh boy, I don't know what size, so I have to try them on and try to figure it out. But I'm not one that's like super flattered with my figure anyway. Um, I do like my legs better. <laughs> So maybe I would try to get away with wearing these and see how they look, but if not, you might be looking out for a giveaway on my page sometime soon of a couple pairs of leggings if you guys just want to check that out. Um, there's really not too much more to add. I, I started a list and I got distracted. About a month shipping. Uh, cooler material. They're not going to keep you super warm except the leggings do hold in heat very well, but the dresses are a very, very thin material. The dresses are more stretchy than the leggings are, depending on the style of leggings that you get. If you get the one with the elastic top, then they're all going to be very stretchy, where these are the same material kind of as the dresses. So it's not not really the same as far as stretch goes, and of course it, it has to come down kind of like that skinny jean finish. Um, so I'm not really excited about <laughs> trying to squeeze myself into these, but I will try. Um, I'll probably have another video that I post wearing the skater style dress just because I think it's super cute and I might wear it tonight when I go out. Um, but that's about it. Lotus Leggings is a pretty good site aside from taking a little bit. They send you extra stuff occasionally. Um, this is not sponsored at all by them. I just saw an advertisement for a Jack Skellington dress and I thought it was super cute and I wanted to buy it and I actually ended up not getting it. I got the Jack-O-Lantern one when I found that one. But I might go back to the Jack Skellington dress just because... 
I'm obsessed with Nightmare Before Christmas. It's, I just need more. I have a Jack Skellington pinstripe uh, tuxedo dress, and I have the Sally dress that Hot Topic had a couple of years ago because those are just very classic. They're like the original styles of the dresses. They're just a little bit brighter than the other ones, and I recognize that, and I'm okay with it. I'm not one of those people who's going to sit there and be like, well, that, you know, Sally's dress is more dulled out. I'm not going to wear that. Everyone knows when you wear it that you're Sally. Um... I think that's all for you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful and strange weekend, uh, seeing as today is almost Friday. We are that close. Uh, and I hope that you guys check out my Facebook page for the, some of those images of that Bathory shoot because they actually came out gorgeous. It is my favorite shoot to date, like I said. Um, I'm sorry that this video ran a little bit long. I've been rambling and I don't really know why, but I will talk to you guys later. And I hope that you have a good one and you check out Lotus Leggings.